الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على خير المرسلين محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه عباد الله إن الناظر في أحوال أمتنا لا يخفى عليه حقيقة الحال The one who looks into the conditions of this womb. Got to be blind if he can't see the problems. And got to be naive if he thinks everything is okay. Because he who knows the history of this ummah will know that now it's fi asfali asfali. He who knows the history of this womb knows that this time of the history of this ummah could be the worst. فَإِنَّ الَّذِي لَا يَعْرِفُ تَارِيخَهُ لَا يَعْرِفُ مُسْتَقْبَلَهُ and he who doesn't know his history will not have a good future because it's on the history that you reflect and from the history you learn. And it's very obvious and it's very clear that nothing will return us to our glory days and will return us to the greatness of this nation but returning to Allah returning to Allah so why there is a problem with the Muslims that they manage to return to Allah in the month of Ramadan but outside Ramadan as if Allah Azza wa Jal does not exist. فَمَرَّةً يُعَاقِرُ الْخَمْرِ وَمَرَّةً يُعَاقِرُ النِّسَاءِ وَمَرَّةً يُعَاقِرُ الْحَرَامِ وَالْرِبَى وَالسَّرِقَةِ You find him in different situations of challenging Allah. But in Ramadan, somehow his heart drives him to the masjid. And somehow he can abstain from the food, the halal, the food and the drinks. But outside the month, he can't even abstain from the haram. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give the shaytan sultan on the believers. He did not give the shaytan power on the believers. إِلَّا عِبَادَكَ مِنْهُمُ الْمُخْلَصِينَ So the month of Ramadan becomes a time of Allah where Allah exposes us to ourselves. He exposes us to ourselves. Yani in other words, Allah tells you, ah, in Ramadan you manage to make time to come to the masjid, and in Ramadan you manage to stay from al haram, and from al zina, and from al khamr, and from al da'ara, and from this and that. That means you can do it. That means you can do it. That means when I order you to do these things and stay away from other things, because I know you can. So get rid of all these hujjah and get rid of all these excuses that it's difficult and it's hard and I'm not ready and it's we're here and we're there and I work and I don't work and this and that. Get rid of these excuses. فَإِنَّ الْإِنْسَانَ بَصِيرٌ بِنَفْسِهِ وَلَوْ أَلْقَى مَعَادِيرًا Everyone knows himself. Never mind that he makes excuses. You and you and me and her and them. It doesn't matter what excuses we try to convince ourselves 
to justify our actions. The bottom line and the reality and the truth is you know about yourself. So get rid of this. Get rid of this makr. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ لَمْ يَخْسِفْ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ قِرَدَةً وَخَنَازِيرَ لأنهم عبدوا العجل ولا لأنهم سألوا موسى أن يرى الله ولا لأنهم استبدلوا القليل استبدلوا الأدنى بالذي استبدلوا الأفضل بالذي هو أقل ولكن لعنهم وجعلهم قردة وخنازير لمكرهم لمكرهم يوم السبت يوم السبت on the Sabbath, when they used to set their nets on a Friday, so they can catch the fish on Saturday, and they collected on Sunday, and they were not supposed to fish on Saturday. They thought they can trick Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they thought they can deceive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they thought they can plot against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فخسفهم الله قرد وخنازير بسبب مكرهم because the person can disobey وخير التوابين خطائين التوابون and the best of the sinners are the repent the ones who repent anyone can sin and anyone can do haram and anyone in a time of weakness might fall for the shaytan and his traps but for a person to know that he thinks or to think he can plot against Allah and he thinks he can do tricks that Allah will not know this person got no excuse and this person cannot be exempted from this major crime to think that he can outsmart Allah to think that he can do things that Allah will not know his intention and Allah knows what's in the heart so don't do tricks on Allah and don't say, I come to the masjid in Ramadan, perhaps as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ramadan ila Ramadan mukaffirun lima baynahu min al dunub Ramadan to Ramadan erase what's in between from al dunub and don't think that next Ramadan I'll do it and then this hadith applies to me. Don't. This is mak. Mak. Wa yamkuruna wa yamkurullah. Allahu khayrul maathirin. Your makr cannot pass. And this plotting from shaytan is da'if. Inna kayda shaytani kana da'ifa. So return to your Lord. And say, oh Allah, I'm returning to you in this month. And you got a day or two to change your life. So if you have fasted, and if you have prayed, and if you have made dua, for the last 27 or 28 days without the right intention without the intention to change فَإِنَّكَ إِنْ لَمْ تَتَغَيَّرْ بَعْدَ رَمَضَانِ خَسِرْتَ رَمَضَانِ فَإِنَّ رَمَضَانِ لِلْتَّقْوَى رَمَضَانِ to earn and to achieve and to gain taqwa so if you evaluate yourself after the month and nothing changed and you're back to the haram, and you're back to the ma'asiyah, and you're back to the old khawali days, and you're, you're back to the haram, and to the zina, and to the khamr, and to qimar, and to the gambling, and to the mixing, and to the Ill illegitimate relationships, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّكَ خَسِرْتَ رَمَضَانِ خَابَ وَخَسِرَ مَنْ أَدْرَكَ رَمَضَانِ وَلَمْ يُغْفَرْ لَهِ And this is one of the signs, if you want to know if your Ramadan is accepted, this is a sign to know if you have done what you're supposed to do in Ramadan. If Allah accepted you, is to be able to continue on ta'a. To be able to continue in what you were doing in Ramadan. From salah and siyam and sadaqah and dua and qiyam and amal al-saliha. So if you see yourself able to manage to continue, maybe not with the same intensity, فَإِنَّ رَمَضَانَ لَهُ خَاصِيَّةِ Not with the same intensity because Ramadan has special thing about it. But you continue with the الْأَعْمَالِ 
وأقل الأعمال وأحب الأعمال إلى الله أدومها ولو قلت The most beloved actions to Allah The ones that are consistent and continuous even if they're little ولا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا And do not underestimate And do not look down at any good At any good قرأت للإمام أبي داود الإمام صاحب السنن إمام الحافظ صاحب السنن صاحب الحديث أحاديثا سنن أبي داود أرأت له قصة عجب I read for him a strange story and that is to indicate that little معروف can be the reason you're saved they mention that he was traveling in a boat in a ship This is for you, sir. Who's here? The bottom? The left is fine. So, he, Rahimahullah, was traveling on a ship that was sailing. I think his wife is here in the back. This past the one. So he heard that it was sailing close to the shore. He heard the man sneeze. And he heard him saying, Alhamdulillah. So he rented a boat that took him with one dirham, took him all the way to the shore to tell the man, Yarhamukumullah. وهذا حق المؤمن على المؤمن. And this is the right of the believer over the other believer when he sneezes, if he says Alhamdulillah, to reply to him يرحمكم الله. And you answer يهدين الله ويصلح بالنا. Then he went back to the ship. And perhaps some people talked about that. فإن المحبطين والمثبطين في كل زمان ومكان. The people who lower the azimah and the determination and the himma and the gaya and the goals of other people in every time and every place. For one reason, because they're kusala. They're lazy. So you find him hanging to the, to the fatawa. That makes them make excuses for them not to make the effort. Not because they're convinced with the fatwa. So they heard, in the middle of the night, when they were laying down, they heard a caller saying, إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ بَاعَ الْجَنَّةِ لِأَبِي دَاوُدْ بِدِرْهَمْ Allah has granted the Jannah to Abi Dawood for one dirham. He sold in the Jannah for one dirham. فَلَا تَحْقِرَنَّ مِنَ الْمَعْرُوفِ شَيَّةً do not underestimate any good deed. The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, اتقوا النار ولو بشق تمرة. Avoid the hellfire and save yourself from the hellfire even if it's a half of a date. قالت عائشة رضي الله عنها في قوله تعالى لما سئلت half يعني عن نصف تمرة Half Tamra saved you from hellfire. فقالت ومن يعمل مثقال ذرة خيرا يرى. And he who does a weight of an atom, great he will find. يعني a weight of an atom of good, he will find it. فقالت وكم في شطر تمرة من ذرات. How many atoms you can find in half of a date? رضي الله عنها وأرضاها وصلى الله على زوجها. وعلى نبيها وعلى معلمنا الخير محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم فاعلم يا عبد الله أن الحياة والدنيا مهما عظمت فهي حقيرة ومهما طالت فهي قصيرة Know that this dunya no matter how great you think it is It's always nothing in the sight of Allah 
And it doesn't matter how long you think it's going to go. It will stay short compared to everything else. So take advantage of the time that you're on this earth before you are put in it. Take advantage when you're on it before you're in it. And take advantage when you can't come to the masjid walking before you come to the masjid carried. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وجزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وإن شاء الله القيام will be at the return.